Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to my channel. Today this is a pick a card reading and I'm going to be asking for guidance on what we can do or what each individual, you know, pile can do <laughs> to prepare to receive higher, frequ higher frequency energies more effectively. Um, this is with the aim to not only reduce ascension symptoms, but also integrate the energy more fully and clearly so that you can receive them the most benefit from them. And I was guided to make this because I have recently had a little bit of success in my, like in my personal practice, reducing my own ascension symptoms. Because for the last two years, I have been, you know, feeling it so hard. <laughs> and I honestly, I have, I've had these moments where, you know, I was so nauseous and I was so hot and cold, you know, I felt like I had a fever all like and shivering and uh, all of that. And, you know, I would have these moments where I'd find myself like shaking my fist at the sky and like chewing out whatever higher dimensional collective was willing to listen to me. <laughs> and eventually I kind of clued in and I told my guides, like, please show me how to reduce my ascension symptoms. Please like sh show me the way I'm, I'm listening. I am prepared to basically do whatever it takes to feel better and to integrate this energy more effectively. And a couple months have went by since then, and even though I've had some really, really, really intense activations and shifts and upgrades, uh, I haven't really been having ascension symptoms the way I used to. So the first thing I think that applies to everybody is to simply, you know, put the intention out there. To, like, it's not even so much asking your guides, it's like telling them, you know, tell them that you're ready to receive the guidance on reducing your ascension symptoms and integrating high frequency energy more effectively. And um, just follow follow your intuition, right? Follow your gut, the little things, the little things throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month uh, that come to you. Um, follow through on those because they could really, little things could make a big difference, right? And everybody's going to be having a different kind of slant or angle or theme on what they need to be doing to prepare to receive the higher frequency energy. So that's why I've got five different cards here. I think these are going to be pretty short and sweet, so go ahead and pick your pile. It's numbers one to five. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading for you guys. I don't know if there's going to be anything specific in terms of what you need to do in the 3D because for you the main theme is that it's all already inside you and it's to do with tuning into your inner high priestess essentially. You got this this card here, the seer, this is you know the second major arcana, this would be the high priestess in a traditional tarot deck and here she is looking you know in the well of seeing into this scrying water, this mirror, her hand is pointed down towards the earth and she's got her staff pointing up towards the cosmos. She has the ability to completely receive all of the guidance and wisdom that she needs. She doesn't need to seek it from any external source. So that's the main reminder here. But you might be feeling like, oh, you know, I'm I'm no high priestess. You know, I, I maybe I, maybe even if you're just waking up now and this is all brand new to you, new to you it's like, Tune into your quantum life parallel selves because you have all that you need to know. It's It's been learned and stored in your quantum lives, in all of your other lives. Um, many, many lives um, ha living out this archetype as like healer, witch, shaman, priest, priestess, whatever it is, right? You've been initiated in these spiritual traditions many, many, many other times before. So the, like this, the big secret for you is to actually self-initiate, right? You got this card, past life emotion lives in you. You are expressing more. It is releasing. That is the, the wisdom of your past lives is coming out in everything that you do. <laughs> you, you, it's like you might, you might not remember specifically your past lives. Maybe you don't remember anything about your past lives, but you don't need to retrieve specific memories. I think that's something we really need to detach from this idea that we need like visual images or very specific memories about what happened to us. You can just tune into the feeling, the vibration or the archetypes or like the, the flow, the energetic flow of your past lives and the wisdom is all there. So
I feel like it's your sense of doubt, uh, not believing in yourself that is actually kind of causing some of your ascension symptoms because you're sitting there doubting the things you have experienced. You're sitting there feeling like you're too small, like you don't know how to do it. Um, like you need to learn it from somebody else or that you need to receive something from somebody else. And those things are kind of like cramping up your system, <laughs> cramping up your system and it's not letting the energy flow freely. And I think like I, I'm feeling actually quite intense anxiety <laughs> tuning into your guys's energy. Um, like I almost feel like I want to shake. You might be able to hear my voice sounds a little bit weird. Um, this is not my anxiety. This is coming from, you know, maybe not all of you are feeling it, but definitely some of you are having some anxiety that's making you feel almost breathless and I can feel stabbing in my chest. <laughs> um, so that needs to be released. And I feel that for you guys, your ascension symptoms might not be. I mean, you might be having physical symptoms, but it's like anxiety itself is an ascension symptom. It, like you're waking up to a lot very quickly and it's making you, some of you feeling like you're completely losing it or you're starting to doubt your sense of reality. So you need to be <laughs> really tuning into your own magnificence and your own power and letting the energy flow and express it in whatever way you can. What you need to be leaning into here is this. <clears throat> wow. Um... I brought that up to the camera and it made me really, really dizzy. You guys are going through some intense, intense activations to your, I don't know, it's like everything, but it feels like it's coming in simultaneously through your third eye and through your crown, like this flood of energy. Um, and it's really overwhelming. Uh, <laughs> so this card, the breath of life is about tuning into a brand a brand new idea. Um, I keep seeing like an, this arrow, this arrow going right into your third eye, right into it and activating things really quickly. So breathing through that, breathing through that, breathing, breathing, conscious breathing. If you guys, here's, some, here's something, if you want like a grounded practice, if you want something you can turn to like physically that will try to help you, um, find some kind of breathing exercises that, <sighs> that make you feel grounded. It can be anything um, you know, whatever resonates with you, but like, uh, any kind of conscious breathing practice, I would say just start, you know, either just breathe intentionally full deep belly breaths into your di diaphragm and just concentrating on that, um, or look up some kind of specific modality that helps you, um, that'll help you ground into your lower chakras, grounding into your lower chakras and get grounded into the earth because your upper chakras are kind of like on fire right now. There's so much energy. It's like this electrical energy going through them all and it's making you a little unbalanced and yeah, <laughs> stay strong, be a guiding light, ground yourself, be love. So <laughs> <sighs> getting grounded, getting so grounded because you guys are receiving such an intense activation um, that's going to be coming through for you that you, you, you need to focus on oh, grounding, grounding, grounding um, and flowing that energy as much as you can. Um, but yeah, the main thing here is don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Know that the other versions of you who are these spiritual masters, you can absolutely access all of their wisdom, all of it, all of their skills, all of their gifts, because they are you, you are, you are them, you are all one, right? You don't need to take a specific type of class or course. You don't need to learn a specific type of tradition. You, all you need to do is call it up out of your own Akash. You can call all of this wisdom up out of your own Akash and before you fall asleep at night, one thing you can do is just put it out to the universe, your guides, whoever it is for you that you want, that you, not so much that you want, but that you intend, you intend, this is what you're doing. You're intending it and it's going to happen. No doubt. No, exactly. Trust your magic. Know exactly what you're doing. Um, intend to call up out of your Akash, whatever, um, skills, abilities, knowledge, or wisdom, or guidance that you want. It's all there. You just have to call it up and call it forth and then trust it and embody it and really dropping out of your mind so that you can follow through and flow through whatever comes through for you as you learn to manifest your magic and harness this higher frequency energy. So no more self-doubt, guys. <laughs> you have it all inside of you. And that's 
<sighs> that's the message for you. I'm feeling that energy, that anxious energy drain out of me. So I think um, for those of you who feel called to go sit through some guided breathing exercises, that can definitely help some of you because I can feel that start to shift out already. So good luck, guys. Sending you so much love and light. Bye. Hey, pal two, welcome to your reading. <sighs> you guys need to drop out of tradition. <laughs> There's some kind of old energy that you've been in. Um, I'm going to keep it pretty open-ended because it's different for everybody. Um, some of you, it could be a like religious tradition if you're coming out of a religion. Others of you, it could be a more secular type of like crystallized mindset. Um, if some of you, this is like really ancestral. You've been going through deep, deep, deep ancestral healing, um, in terms of like your physical human ancestors. For others of you, this has been deep quantum life healing where you're reaching way back into your ancient past lives and healing stuff that has gone on with you there. And this old stuff has been coming up for you so that you can release it, so that you can heal it and be free of it, be free of it, releasing the old energy. And I think for some of you, you might feel like you're betraying the old energy, betraying the old paradigms. You might feel like you're betraying your ancestors, like you're betraying your family, like you're betraying your religion or your thought system, or just that you're betraying yourself because you're a little hesitant to let go of the old energy. The thing is, um, this is just mirroring what's, what's happening, you know, with earth itself, with the shift in consciousness itself. <sighs> You know, we're, we're no longer in the old earth. We're no longer in the old energy. This is an entirely new paradigm, an entirely new energy. And, you, you know, even if you want to look at it that way, like an entirely new planet, this is all brand new. So we, we need to let go of all of the old stuff. And I'm saying all this because you got this nine of stones tradition. This is literally the card that you're, the energy you're supposed to be letting go of. <laughs> and this can be tough because this is dense and it is like all... The way I'm seeing it, it's almost like it's in your very cells, right? You can look at that as it's in your physical human DNA, it's in your ancestry, right? Or it's a habit that you've clung to for so long that you can't even imagine life without it. Or it's an ancient, ancient past life pattern. This is something that is old, old energy and it's going to die hard, you know? <laughs> it doesn't want to go. But that's, it's like... That's the way it has to be. Holding on to these old, dense energies makes it so that when the like the plasma light, right, the high frequency energies are the high frequency energies that are coming at you when they hit you, instead of like hitting, like if you if you could be like in a perfect world, right, if you spent a decade sitting on a mountaintop meditating and you would be like this perfectly clear, pure, crystalline vessel, right? The high frequency energy would just hit you and vibrate you and you would be like this clear instrument, like a clear flute or like a clear toned bell, right? Just vibrating perfectly. But since you have this old energy, this, these old, this old, these old traditions or patterns or beliefs, um, they're like blocking you up. It's like, imagine trying to play a flute, but there's like rocks in the flute <laughs> right it's like you might get some notes out of it but most like those rocks are just going to rattle around and not make the flute operate properly right or like a drum if you have um like a blanket stuffed inside of the drum the drum can't resonate properly properly so you need to clear out these old things so that you can resonate properly right um and be like a clear prism so that's why the old needs to go and leaning into this beautiful knight of vessels here it's depicted as this eel um this card honestly used to creep me out because i don't like eels but i've gotten past that now i can see the beauty of this flowing through the water making these snake-like serpentine curves completely going with the flow and moving and flowing beautifully letting everything unfold exactly as it is meant to and so in touch with your intuition this is going from really dense like earth energy and you know i'm never one to say that i don't, I don't how do i want to put this i don't i don't mean to say that earth energy is bad um i have a five placement capricorn stellium so i'm a ton of earth energy and i love it and think it's amazing but you know on some level there is density involved there right so releasing this dense earth energy and moving more into this flowing 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 water intuitive energy and this is um 
also uh, releasing like root chakra problems, <laughs> um, releasing fears, um, fears to do with like scarcity mentality or lack of security, um, like fears of death, even um, releasing all of those root chakra problems. And that'll allow you to, the energy to flow up into your sacral chakra, this water energy moving with your feelings and so much more flowing, flowing, flowing um, <sighs> into femininity. So a lot of this might involve for you releasing masculine paradigms as well and flowing into more feminine paradigms. Um, not so much where the feminine becomes out of balance with the masculine, but so that they become in perfect balance. And that will allow the, w the way to be clear for you, right? The way is clear. The way is clear. Awaken to the power within you. Awaken to the power within you, right? That uh, goes so well with this idea of, you know, releasing the old energy, releasing the past energy. Um, if you are stuck looping ancestral patterns or past life patterns or just habits from this life, right? Um, if you're stuck looping those, then you're actually running somebody else's programming inside your own system, right? You're living out somebody else's life. You're thinking somebody else's thoughts. You're reacting with somebody else's like baggage, right? You're, <laughs> it, you're not being your authentic self. You're being somebody else. So awaken to the power within you. You don't need anybody else's energy running through your system. You don't need anybody else's direction. You don't need anybody else's... <sighs> baggage for some of you this is about dropping other people's baggage for some of you this might be dropping somebody else literally like a hot potato <laughs> right clear out the old dense energies that are no longer serving you especially if they are attached to traditions and be feel free to do things like color outside of the lines and like write your own chapter um no longer going by the book if some of you have learned a specific like energy healing modality, if it's like a specific school of Reiki or some other kind of modality um, like that, like, you know, whatever it is, it's just an example. Um, even if you're like a musician or something or an artist, if, you, if you've always followed the book and done it by the book, it's time to stop doing that. It's time to really experiment and do like it, uh, improvise, improvise more, improvise and follow, um, follow the feelings that are coming through. Improvise, improvise, no longer doing by the book, right? This is like, it reminds me of, you know, I was, uh, I did classical piano lessons for several years when I was a kid. And then one day I just like couldn't handle it anymore because I always wanted to play. Um, I would be learning the songs and I would always wanted to play them my own way. I would like play a classical piano piece and then I would play it with like a blues beat instead. I would, I would like play it swing style. And then, you know, of course, like my teacher was like, you can't do that. You got to get ready to take this exam and you have to play it by the book. You have to play the way they want you to play it. And I just, hated it, right? So I stopped taking piano lessons and then I became a way better piano player when I stopped taking lessons, when I dropped out of cl classical piano, even though I love classical music, I love it. I have nothing bad to say about classical music, but it just wasn't for me at that time to be learning in that tradition, right? I had to be um, expressing my own feelings and doing improvisational piano, right? So something like that, um, dropping out of traditions and moving into your intuition and your ability to improvise whatever it is that you're doing. So... Good luck, guys. Sending you so much love and light. Bye. Hey, pal three. Welcome to your reading. You guys are doing too much, trying too hard, pushing too hard. You need to slow down, take a break, take a rest. <laughs> End of story, right? Um, so, yeah, you got this four of arrows rest. This is what you need to be allowing yourself to experience. <laughs> Four of arrows, rest, needing to be experiencing this rest so that you can be coming out like this butterfly. And I feel like you guys don't want to rest or that you feel guilty when you are resting because you feel this pressure to perform or to like grind, right? To work hard, to work hard, to work hard. Um, some of you probably have like financial concerns and you feel like if you don't spend enough time working, then you'll never break free of that. Um, feeling like you need to go, 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 push, 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 work, 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 hard, hard, hard all the time in order to make anything shift. But it's like, that's not 
how it's gonna <laughs> that's not how it's gonna happen that is the old paradigm um you know for some of you that could be hooked into ancestral patterns um past lives where you have like slavery coding um but you know just for the most part the whole planet has kind of been programmed like that to work 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 hard 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 never take a rest um feeling like you are If, if, like on some level, your subconscious feels like if you don't work hard, you're going to die, right? Because <laughs> um, that's, you know, what many of us experienced in past lives or ancestors experienced, right? Um, but that's not the way it's going to be now. <laughs> so the first thing to do is take, allow yourself to, to like veg out, rest, relax, make sure you're getting enough sleep, make sure you're getting enough nutrition, really taking a break, really, really, really taking a break. Um, and this is going to allow you uh, to enter a period of reflection this moon on water this is deep inner reflection um so rest is important to get ready for higher frequency energy because like can, can, can you feel how frazzled you can get if you're not resting right and if you're all frazzled and exhausted and tired then when that wave of energy hits you you're gonna like totally burn out or you're going to be completely overwhelmed um or having to you know reach for a, a bottle of liquor uh to get through the day right um and no judgment here on that guys i've done my share, fair share of you know stress drinking to try and get through <laughs> um a difficult time right so no 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 judgments on that we, we we've all been there it's fine um but you know drinking alcohol isn't going to help you um digest the high frequency energies it's just going to help you survive its passing so you know if you find yourself doing that that's totally fine but just know that you kind of just allowed the energy to like pass through you and it wasn't really integrated right so if you want to integrate it more fully needing to be in that rested state so that when the high frequency energy hits you you feel like okay now i'm centered enough to handle it okay now i am clear-headed enough to handle it i can i don't need to be in that fight or flight um reaction you can really be seeing it from your higher perspective seeing it for what it is instead of like freaking out right <laughs> and also this period of rest that you're in for some of you i feel like you might have had some kind of injury or come down with some kind of like like a cold or something right it's not something's happened in your life to kind of keep you keep you in one place that's happening because it's like you, you needed to take some time to just chill because that needs to send you an inner reflection there's some kind something um inside of yourself that you've been avoiding looking at Yeah, I, I don't think I'll like espouse further on that because it's going to be really personal for each of you. Um, you can just feel into it. What is hiding deep inside of yourself that you don't want to look at? What do you want to break free from that you're scared of breaking free from? What do you know you need to do but you're afraid of doing? What do you need to like release that you desperately want to cling to? something inside of yourself so this um period of rest is going to help you look inside of yourself and then finally here breathe in your power to manifest or <laughs> i said breathe in your power to manifest which yes do that as well but believe also believe in your power to manifest breathe your creation into existence okay so whatever it is that you're trying to manifest if it's more money um if it's like a business, if it's a new job, if it's a move, whatever, whatever that you're trying to do, um, you're not going to get there by grinding and working and doing things the hard way. You're going to get there in the new way of living, right? The new way of manifesting. You're going to manifest it into existence. <laughs> you're going to manifest it into existence. And I know how hard that is to believe. Um, I'm only saying this because I have literally been there and I have literally done it. I've been in that place of work, 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 of constantly freaking out about how am I going to, like, how am I going to improve my life? Like when my life was really a pile of crap, right? When I lived in a horrible place, when um, I was an emotional wreck, <laughs> you know, um, when I didn't have enough money, when everything was a, like, you know, kind of rock bottom. Um, I've, I didn't get out of that until I learned my lesson about releasing, letting go and resting and relaxing. And once I rested and relaxed and stopped worrying, it, that's the thing, right? I didn't 
get out of my situation until I stopped worrying about how I was going to get out of my situation. And then I just released and relaxed and let it all go. And then everything magically started clicking into place, right? <laughs> the ability to manifest does come through. And I know it's impossible to believe in until you've experienced it, but this is where you guys are about to experience it. You're about to experience how synchronous and magical everything can unfold in ways that will blow your mind and completely change your perspective on reality, <laughs> right? Um, you the, the trick is to go into that place of rest and then to believe in your intuition and you believe in your inner journey. And then just even like what I had to do was I, I conducted an experiment. This is how I had to experience my first round of life-changing manifestation, right? I was like, okay, I don't really know if this is going to work, but I can believe that it might work, right? I believe that it might work. I believe it's possible maybe for this to maybe work, right? So I started there and I was like, I'm just going to conduct an experiment. What happens for six months if I completely stop trying, <laughs> if I just trust the universe and I just feel into my desired future and I just wait for it and watch for the opportunities and the synchronicities and just go with the flow and believe in my ability to manifest. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure it was going to work, but I just sat there and I ran, I ran it as an experiment. <laughs> That's how I did it. And then it worked. And now I know, now I know it works. And now I can manifest so much faster because I know ah, I can just release and set my intentions and wait for it, wait for it and believe in it and feel it coming. And then it comes every, every time now. <laughs> so this is actually, um, a big initiation for you because once this next pocket of energy plays out, once you rest and reflect and then manifest this thing that you're working on manifesting, you'll be like, wow, now I believe it. Now I believe it. This is an, like important uh, experiences you're going to be having that will change your belief system, change your experience of reality and change how you operate. So know that this whole process, this whole journey of letting go and releasing and running your experiment with manifestation is an initiation and once you're on the other side of this once you finally get that yes finally it worked and it played out and i did it not in the old way i didn't do it by working hard i did it by simply letting go and manifesting once you have that experience your whole life is going to be different because you will have finally experienced it right you will have experienced it you will have experienced manifestation you will have experienced the power of surrendering right you'll experience the power of surrendering and then then your life begins, guys. Then it begins. So I'm really excited for you guys. Um, just take it easy for now and trust yourselves. Sending you so much love and light. Bye. Hey, Pal4, welcome to your reading. I feel like there's a theme here of releasing victim mentality. <laughs> um, of course... If you're in a situation where you are being victimized, you need to get out of that situation, right? That that's the most important thing. Like get get out of the exploitation here. Get out of exploitation. So many different ways this could be manifesting for your guys, but um, for you guys, not your guys. Maybe some of you have multiple guys that this applies to, but for you guys, um, just you know, take a minute. Maybe this is really obvious for most of you. How are you being exploited in life? Is this like a terrible job you need to get out of? Is this a relationship you need to get out of? Are you exploiting yourself? <laughs> are some of you, some of you are exploiting yourselves, right? Um, by by feeling that certain energies need to come from outside of you. Some of you might be feeling like universe, why did you do this to me? <laughs> universe, how, like, why are you punishing me? Why are you keeping me in this, in this situation? Like, why is this happening to me? I feel like some of you are really in a crappy spot and feeling like it's being inflicted upon you. Um, and that, you know, I feel for you guys that that really sucks. We we've all been there. We've all been in different ways, experienced that feeling of like, how can this possibly be happening to me? Universe, why are you doing this to me? Right. Feeling like something is being done to you, feeling like the great thumb is coming out of the sky and squishing you into the dirt. Um, if some of you are 27 to 30, um, you could be going through your Saturn return. This feels like Saturn return energy to me, um, where you feel like the universe is just squeezing you into oblivion. <laughs> um, so just know that whatever squeeze is on you, um, whatever energy is exploiting you, 
it's temporary. <laughs> this whole experience is temporary. You're not going to be experiencing this for your, the rest of your life. This is a moment where something is being squeezed out of you. Um, for a lot of you, it's going to be, you know, it's like releasing that victim mentality and right, like raising your perspective up to where you understand that you designed your own life. Everything that happens to you is done with your consent, actually, as unbelievable as that sounds. And I know that might be triggering to some people because I used to find that extremely triggering. Um, you know, it wasn't very many years ago when uh, if somebody told me like, yeah, you, you chose this, I would have been like, that's fucking crazy. I would never have done this to myself, right? <laughs> so I get that. Um, but the good, what I can tell you from having been in that spot um, is that once you flow through it and get to the end of that experience, um, you, you do start to see how it makes sense and you do start to see how you, why you really did choose it. Um, you know, to just share a, like a personal example with you, um, you know, I, all of my life I had bipolar disorder and, you know, I spent, to put it, you know, to summarize it simply, I spent most of my life being completely fucking crazy and suicidal. Um, and if you had told me that, you know, hey, you know, you actually chose that experience, you designed your life that way, I've been, I would have been like, that's fucking nuts. Why would I have done this to myself? I'm like, why would I want to live this way, right? Um, but now that um, I've had my awakening and I have done, I've had so many healing experiences and I have left that whole experience of mental illness behind me, and now I'm so, so grateful for the experience of my life, right? So grateful for every, all the pain and suffering that I went through for all the mania and the depression and the psychosis and all of it. I'm so grateful for all of it because I completely understand why I chose it now. I never could have understood that five years ago, right? But now I understand. Now I have perspective on it. And uh, it, it's like all of those experiences, not only did they help me, rapidly 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 like experience um and purge and release um so so many things like I can't even go into it but it's like ancestral karma my past life karma so many cosmic and personal and ancestral patterns I got to like go through all of it really quickly and purge it all out by the time I was 30 right I essentially um that experience of bipolar helped me purge <laughs> like <laughs> thousands of years of lifetime uh in like 30 human years right it was so efficient it was like a genius way of handling that right and now i know that since i've been through that um i can help other people also kind of shift their perspective and and see it and understand that you know these situations that seem permanent right the doctors will tell you that bipolar is a permanent incurable dis disease um but i've experienced that it's not you can totally come out of it um and nothing is permanent, right? Nothing is permanent. Any can, anything can be shifted. So now I also hold, hold those codes for shifting out of something that seems permanent and impossible, right? So now I completely understand why I chose such a horrible experience and now it makes sense. Now I'm even grateful for it. So that's how I know that no matter what you guys are going through, no matter what level of suffering or explo exploitation you're in, you can, you can and you will um, take ownership of that and understand that you did choose it and understand how grateful you are for having been through it, right? You can shift out of that and that's what you're going to be doing. Nine of Arrows, dedication. Okay, look at this person. Um, before, in your kind of exploited mental state, you would have walked through this... Um, like field of arrows, right? This person is being having, they've had nine arrows shot at them, but they trusted, they trusted that they could walk through it and not a single arrow hit home. Not a single, not a single arrow. Sorry, I'm actually kind of choking up. You, I know you guys are going, you guys are really feeling it right now, right? So here you are walking through this field and everyone's shooting arrows at you, right? But in the past, your, your feelings of like victimization, your victim mentality, um, your feeling of, I can't get out of this, would have actually magnetized all of these arrows to you and they would have kept hitting you and you would have just kept getting hurt over and over and over again, right? But as you shift out of this, you walk with faith and you walk with trust and you walk with, you know, God inside, right? Whatever that means to you, you can use your own words on that, you know, the light of source inside, the goddess within, right? Your soul shining bright within you. You can walk in that light. You can walk in the light and then because your light is shining, none of the arrows hit you. And look what she does. She even catches an arrow 
and she plays her bow with it like it's a violin, right? She turns all of these arrows of hatred, she turns it into beautiful music. This is deep alchemy, this is deep, deep transmutation, and it's like taking everything that's ever been hurled at you, at all the insults, all the pain, all the trauma, all the abuse, all the suffering, you're gonna take it, and you're gonna transmute it, and you're gonna turn it into something beautiful. Okay? <laughs> so, it's uh, on some level, it's like these arrows can also represent the high frequency energy that is coming at you, right? Because if you're in this really low vibrational state of misery and panic, suffering and victimization and exploitation, when the light hits you, it's just going to rattle you and hurt you, right? But when you move into this place of alchemy and transmutation and healing, then you're going to be able to take the energy that comes at you and make beautiful music with it or art or healing or money or, you know, whatever it is that you're manifesting, you're going to make something with it and it's going to be so beautiful. And you do that by... Um, releasing the feelings of victimization. Walk your own journey. It is essential to stay on your own path. Yes, your own path, your own path, nobody else's path. So for those of you who are uh, being exploited by others on any level, whoever they are, <laughs> right need to get the I think that was the first thing I said one of the first things I said was you need to get away from that right whoever they are whatever they are um because they're distorting your path right um even if you're even if you're trying to help them like you might be some of you might be being taken advantage of and you might not even know it because you might think oh I'm trying to help them right they're the ones who are down and down in the dirt and I'm trying to help them right but it's like they're, they're sucking your energy right they're sucking your energy um and this doesn't have to be like a really big like scary vampire like energy vampire situation although for some of you maybe it is for some of you it can be a lot more subtle um where are you allowing your energy to drain away and where are you allowing allowing other people to pull you out of alignment right it can be really subtle this can be so subtle it can be down to the point where you never choose where you want to eat for dinner, right? And you just always go with what somebody else is, somebody else eats. But it's like your body could, like maybe you feel like, oh, I really want to go to that one place to eat and you never say that. <laughs> um, but you're, that could be a way bigger deal than you think it is. Maybe there is like a specific dish at that place you want to eat and your body is like craving that food. There could be specific nutrition in that at that restaurant that you need, that your body is craving and your guides are trying to guide you there so that you can receive that nutrition and you just keep going, oh, it doesn't really matter where I go to eat dinner. I'll just go where they want to go to eat dinner, right? But it's like, no. <laughs> so every time you allow somebody else to guide your path and you walk their path, you're like starving yourself energetically. <laughs> so walk your own journey, guys, even on the little things, especially on the little things, especially on the things that might not seem to matter, right? Um, like what art you put on your walls, what pillowcase you use, you know, the little things, because you are you guys are so sensitive, right? You guys are so empathic and sensitive to energy. Um, the little things make a big difference. So don't compromise on the little things. Walk your own journey and just get prepared um, to turn lemons into lemonade, right? Turn your lemons into lemonade. Um, yeah, things are, things will get so much sweeter. And this is like a, such a huge healing moment for you guys. Um, if you can do this, if you can stay on your own path, if you can really tune into your own energy and sit in your own authenticity and integrity with every moment of every breath, <laughs> then your life will transform. I promise. All it takes. That's the only thing you need to do is follow your inner guidance and that's it. So <sighs> good luck, guys. You can do this. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, Pile 5, welcome to your reading. <sighs> it's funny, this is the fifth pile, and this I feel like this kind of sums up everything I've talked about in the four other piles. <laughs> um, so if you are, this is the second one you're watching. I mean, that makes sense, right? <laughs> but basically, you guys are leaving behind... your teachers look at this ten of arrows instruction um so this is like a graduation day um some of you maybe literally if you're graduating a school um but for others this is like an energetic graduation and you're no longer you no longer need 
the instruction that you've been receiving. You no longer need the teaching that you've been receiving. You've received it all and you don't need to get it from other people anymore. Okay, this is graduation time, whatever that means for you. Um, I just noticed that uh, this card up here, time to do it differently. This is 20, number 22. 22 is my magic number, guys. 22 to me always means that everything is about to work out perfectly and magically and synchronistically. <laughs> so time to do it differently. Go beyond what you have done before, right? Leaving behind instruction, doing it differently. I actually got this card for myself this morning. Um, go beyond what you have done before. Go beyond what you have done before. <sighs> For a lot of you, this is going to be calling up your own soul memories, right? Um, if you're, I, I know I talked about this in another pile, um, but I'm just gonna have to talk about it again here because it's the same. It's the same message. <laughs> so, um, a lot of you might be looking at, okay, there's the I want to learn how to be an energy healer, or I want to learn how to read tarot cards, or I want to learn how to be a welder, <laughs> like you know, what whatever it is that you want to, um, that you want to learn, right? That next thing that you want to learn, that next thing that you want to do in your life, um, you might be looking outside of yourself for where can you receive the guidance, where can you receive the information, where can you receive the instruction, right? But you're you're that's not. That's not for you anymore, right? In this point of your life, you're, it's time to be your own teacher. The information you're looking for cannot be found outside of yourself. And even if it could, it would be all watered down and you'd end up just having to reinvent it for yourself anyway. So there's there's like nowhere to look but inside of yourself. Um, it's important. I th ah, this is, I've been just feeling so many themes of like self-initiation lately, right? Um, and knowing that all of our, everything that we need, all of our gifts, all of our wisdom, all of our knowledge, all of our information, it's all inside of ourselves. And you can really tune into your own past lives and call up the skills and gifts and abilities that you want. They're all there, right? Um, but I think for the thing that really sets this particular pile apart, because this message is similar to so many of the other ones, um, but what is setting this pile apart is that you're actually trailblazing and doing something entirely new, right? Time to do it differently. So even uh, when you do call up your own past soul gifts, right? Um, you know, it's like whatever you're trying to learn how to do, you can access your memories, you know, and you don't need to remember literally how to do it. You can just remember the energetic patterns and you can start doing it and it'll come to you, right? You, your body will remember, your soul will remember, even if your mind does not. You don't need your mind on this one, guys. You don't need your mind. The memories don't come through your mind. Your memories come through your beingness of it. And I feel like there, there's this beginning of reclaiming what has been yours in your past lives, but then going so much far beyond that, actually tuning into your higher mind, your higher guidance, all the way up to source itself and downloading new information, new codes, new traditions, new ways of doing things, entirely new. Um, that's what this is about. That's what this is about. That's why, sorry, it took, it took me a while to get there, but <laughs> but I got it. Um you guys have the potential to tune directly in to source. You might think that that feels too far away. I know, uh, you know, um, a lot of us like star seeds and light workers, we find it easier to, or like more interesting or more fun sometimes, or maybe just more accessible. You know, we all like to communicate with higher dimensional beings, you know, like ninth dimensional, 10th dimensional, eighth dimensional, whatever. Right. Um, but sometimes I wonder why we do that so much. Why don't we tune in straight to source and something I've been working on over the past month has been, tuning directly into source and I've been, I was at first, I started just by asking for guidance on how to do that right <laughs> um like I was like I wanted I want to skip over all these dimensional beings and just tune in straight to source and what I discovered was that the light of source is inside everybody it's inside your heart um when I want to tune into source I don't reach out right I reach inwards and I look for I feel for the light that is glowing inside of my heart inside of my chest it's there and all you need to do is exhale to let it out and that is literally the light of source right 
I use your own words to describe it, right? Some people it's the God inside, for some people it's the goddess within, for some people it's like your soul, your higher self, right? Whatever it is for you, it's right inside of you and that is the highest level of guidance. You are an emanation of source consciousness, right? The God, the goddess is inside of you. It's all inside of you, that's it. And you guys are downloading brand new codes, brand new codes, King of Arrows, Hawk. This is to me represents the higher mind. Um, if you're watching this when I post it, it's Gemini season and there's been a lot of talk I've been seeing, you know, in the various spiritual circles of the higher mind. Because it's this Gemini is the mind, is air energy, the higher mind. Um, a lot of people like to tune into that using Arcturian energy. For some of you, if you want to access your higher mind, I know we were just talking about, you know, skipping over the dimensional energy and going straight to source. So yes, do that. But also um, Arcturian energy. This is Arcturian energy you guys are tuning into. Um, Non-dual higher mind, spiritual energy. The Arcturians can help with that. You just need to, you know, they can hear you. They can hear literally everything you think. Um, so it's easy. Anyone can talk to them, right? Um, they're listening right now. <laughs> they're listening right now to, to me talking about this, right? Um, so yeah, they're like, yeah, you know, reach out to the, to the Arcturians, whichever ones you like. I really like the 9D Arcturian Council. They're my favorite. Um, so they are there also to help you with this. Um, and if you feel like you don't know how to get connected with source or to the, like the goddess within or the god inside, um, you know, these higher dimensional beings can help you get there, right? Because they're closer. Um, not that the, that's the thing, right? Right there, that, that thing I just did where I said 9D is closer to source than we are, you know, but that's not really true. <laughs> that's not really true. So I think that's actually an example of the kind of thinking we all need to drop, myself included, because I just caught myself doing that, right? So start catching yourself doing that. When you start to feel like, you know, you're down here in 3D, you're so far away from source, but it's like, I mean, yes, sure, from the linear perspective, that is true, but you guys are rising up into a non-linear experience and then there is no more space, right? There is no more space. You you are, like, source is inside of you, right? Literally inside of you. The light is inside of you. It's right there. It's not it's, it's nowhere. There is no time. There is no space. It's right there. <laughs> so um, catching yourself, just like I just did, um, when you feel starting to feel like things are far away, it's not everything is right on top of each other, right? Um, doing, doing things differently. So that's why you're having this graduation day. You're leaving behind these, uh, this, you're leaving behind teachings. And it's, it's not so much that you, this is how this pile, now I'm starting to understand the energy better. This is how you guys are differing from some of the other piles where it was really about uh, releasing old energies, releasing ancestral patterns, releasing past life patterns, all that. And I mean, you guys are probably doing that as well, um, especially if you watch one of those readings and then you're also watching this one. So there's that going on, but this is also leaving behind the very idea that you need to be taught. Okay, this is, you know, this Ten of Arrows instruction, releasing behind the very idea that you need a teacher outside of yourself, releasing behind any thoughts of taking classes or learning from anything, right? Um, it's like releasing linear learning. You're, you no longer need to learn in a linear way. Um, to use a personal example, lately I have been wanting to like get better at manipulating, like deliberately and consciously manipulating energy um, in kind of like a Reiki kind of way to just use a, like a modality that most people are familiar with, right? I, I was starting to wonder, should I take a Reiki course? Because like, I totally love Reiki. I love receiving it. I have so much respect for Reiki practitioners and I, and I totally fucking love it. I want to be very clear about that. Um, I think it's amazing. Um, but I found that after sitting with it for a bit, I realized that I was being guided not to take a specific course on doing Reiki because it was like, that would be me um, installing like old traditional patterns of how to work with the energy or it, even if they're not old, even if somebody like reinvents entirely, like does a brand new modality of Reiki that or some other type of energy modality, right? If I took the course from them and learned how to do it from them, I would just be doing the way they do it, right? <laughs> and um, it's like that type of linear way of learning. First of all, I don't need to spend like a year studying something anymore, right? We don't, none of us do, none of us do. That's linear learning. That is the old way of learning, linear learning. We don't need to learn in a linear fashion anymore. We don't need to spend 18 years in school, right? And we don't need to install other people's ways of doing things into ourselves. We can just open up and receive and download a brand new way of doing things. And I've already um, just been experimenting with this a lot and I've had a few really, really intense and fascinating experiences where, um, I don't even know how to describe it. 
I felt completely merged with some kind of higher consciousness. You know, I felt like I was just out there in the galaxy and I was like enormous. I was like, you know, indescribably huge. And I could just feel the flows of energy like flowing through the galaxy and everything was just made of light. <laughs> and and uh, I was doing um, just complete, I had to completely relax and let go and drop out of my mind entirely. And was just letting the energy flow through my hands and my arms and I was like, I was like even twirling around even. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, this is how I can do it. This is how I learn. And it was like that whole experience in that, in that five minutes that I had this like, um, transcendental experience. And in that moment, I, I realized that, okay, that is how I downloaded a whole new way of manipulating and channeling and using, uh, energy, right? I don't need to spend six months taking a course, right? I can just tune into nonlinear consciousness and learn it that way. And that's what you guys can do, all of you. Um, and again, to try and articulate what I've been trying to get at is that you guys really have the potential to do things entirely in an entirely brand new way. Like you could download a new healing modality or a new, I mean, I don't even know what words to use, whatever it is that you guys are trying to do. Not all of you are trying to be healers, um, whatever you're trying to do whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you're trying to learn, you can download a brand new way of doing it. And you guys are so kind of like cutting edge <laughs> that you could be the very first person alive right now to do it. Okay. That's why it isn't, that's why this is hard to, to for me to talk about. And that's why you don't need any more teachers because you are just downloading brand new ways of doing things. And there's going to be nobody outside of yourself who can help you with this because it's like, this is a level of initiation where you are downloading brand new codex, like downloading, downloading a brand new codex, downloading, downloading brand new light codes, downloading brand new ways of doing things. Time to do it different, differently. Go beyond what you've done before. Brand new, brand new to the, like, I think this is even brand new, even from all of your past lives, right? In your past lives, you've done things similar to this, but it's like now the entire universe has shifted to a new octave, if you will. You know, the whole universe has shifted in energy because the whole universe is shifting just like the earth is shifting, right? And now that we are in this brand new universal energy, even the things you've done in your past lives, they'll kind of act as like a benchmark, as a kind of like preparation, as a kind of okay, you're, you're kind of ready, you've done this before, and now you're ready for the next level, right? <laughs> ready for the whole new level, a whole new way. So, yeah, so for you guys, in order to get ready for the higher frequency energies, it's like, <laughs> first of all, toss out any ideas you have about taking a class or learning from somebody else, and then try to hold a completely blank slate in your mind, completely blank. Go inwards, tune into source inside of yourself and affirm that you are ready. Affirm that you are ready. Um, each and every one of you will have a perfectly unique and indescribably unique experience of downloading and and receiving this new way of doing your thing but it will come in perfect timing there's nothing you need to do to to receive it just affirm that you're open and that you're ready and just tell the universe to guide you to this experience because this will culminate in some kind of experience don't put any um, don't put any attachments or expectations on what that experience will be like. The onus, like the, the onus will be on you for you to recognize it when it happens. I mean, you might not recognize it when it's happening. Maybe you'll recognize it after the fact, right? But the thing you want to do, you will receive the energy. You will receive the codes. You will receive the inspiration in your own perfectly unique way, in your own perfect, unique timing. And it's just just open yourself up, affirm that you are ready, and then notice it when it happens. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thank you for just opening up to this higher level of service. You, you guys, I, I can feel you like all across the globe, all opening up like your crowns are opening up like big rain catcher funnels to catch um, 
and distill and integrate and ultimately pass on these new ways of doing things, brand new codes. I think, honestly, guys, I think every single one of you who's watching this, this pile, pile five here, um, you know, if you were genuinely guided to it, you, you will all be receiving very unique guidance you, you're like one of a kind one of a kind you you have like a one of a kind <laughs> mission to receive this and however it plays out for you just know that it is perfectly one of a kind it is perfectly meant for you and you will do it perfectly there's nothing you can do to mess this up when if you if you've already made it to this level of consciousness and this level of service then at this point the more you relax and the more you just go with it the better that's that's all you can do at this point <laughs> so thank you guys my brothers and sisters, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.